Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Luca Reacts. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be reacting to some Reddit cringe compilations. Let's get straight into it. Hi, thank you for giving me this drink. Oh, fuck you off singing really I'd do the same. <laughs> don't be Did singing to me. Are you kidding me? Bitch, I'm at work. I don't need this shit. Dude, he's so rude. I don't get paid I'm enough. So oh. He's so rude. I'm so embarrassed. Knock on the window. Nah, oh man, you're gosh. just a Becky. He's literally walking away. I'm Not literally so embarrassed. Stop being a Karen about it, man. Get out. Nah. I ain't play that shit. <laughs> Things get a little too heated at taking to one. Alright. Are you serious? Are you serious? Alright, whoever fucking filmed this shit is worse than me. Jesus, I can't see whatever's on your bloody screen, man. Serious. Ooh. Oh. Sit your ass down. I didn't know Tekken. I didn't really didn't know Tekken was this fucking uh, heated. To be fair, I thought everyone was on Mortal Kombat. I didn't realize Tekken was the one. See, that's where you fucked up. As soon as you touch me, you're getting beat your fucking ass, boy. Who bitch is he? Exactly. That's what happens. As soon as you put hands on me, whose bitch is this? <gasps> Bam. I swear down, if he gets if he gets disqualified from this tournament, right, just because he got a little bit heated. Well, he got he was handling business. As soon as you get put hands on, that ain't, that's it. I'm retaliating. I'm not starting it. I'm retaliating. Tucker Carlson is no longer attracted the to the M&M. Oh, that the fuck. brown M&M has quote transitioned from high stilettos to lower block heels. Also less sexy. That's progress. M&Ms will not be satisfied until every last cartoon character is deeply unappealing and totally androgynous. Until the moment you wouldn't want. Does he want to fuck M&Ms chocolates? Is is Tucker Carlson one of those people that wants to just fuck an animal object or some shit? Are you just so stupid that? The idea of different kinds of chocolate actually makes you mad. The moment you wouldn't want to have a drink with any one of them. That's the goal. When you're totally turned off, we've achieved equity. They've won. Why do you want to fucking be turned on my chocolate, you fucking creep? Radio host Bad Mouths go and gets confronted. Is it Charlemagne? And oh. that you warn guys about girls like me, so tell me about girls like me. Just women me. in general, like I mean. Well, no, a... but no, don't woman in general, because you literally specifically said before we got on here that you, yeah, you did say that you warn guys about girls like me. So now that we're face to face, ah. what kind of girl am I? You're not special. You're like other girls. I think I've seen these two dudes on Flagrant too. Well, it's now Flagrant, but yeah, they were in some pretty hot war back then as well. That's the I'm not special. <laughs> like, so, you're like other women that are. So like... what makes you special then? <laughs> I never said I was. What do you gain from telling girls that they're not special? How does that make you feel? This. Mm. I mean, I know, everything, talking, is, I know we... everything is a joke, but I'm asking you a real question. I feel like it makes it worse because man, them just stood, stood here just being quiet like, mm, mm. I'm going to just let you take all these violations, not stepping in at all. And I know it's going to be one of those things that where do you step in? But at the same time, he's just bumbling and you're doing nothing. Real question. So how does it make you feel? Because if I say you're a bitch ass nigga, that does something for me, right? If I insult you, or if I tell you you're not special, you're forgettable, what does that do that for me? Mic, no, but that doesn't, but that's what I'm saying. No, but I'm, but I'm saying, what if I call you, if I just say that, again, you're forgettable. That's why I didn't want to do you guys' podcast. Forgettable. Hate the setup. Uh, the name is underwhelming. I didn't really see the value in it. Ah. Right? Oh, that's that's how I feel, right. But, so... Ah. That was fucking brutal. You're forgettable. I didn't want to do your podcast. <laughs> ah, 
I mean, to be fair, it's not the best one I've seen, but my setup isn't great either. But, rah, she went in. Singing high school proposal goes as you would expect. Go so Awful, I presume. I Wait, why the fuck is he proposing at high school? I'm confused. That's like, what? 16 to 18? Well, you must be like 18 at the oldest. Because Americans have like sixth form college tied in, right? So you're between like, what? 12 and, and 18? Some people, they know. Oh, in front of the whole class, bro. No. Ah. Why is the teacher allowing this to happen? No. I can show you what I need. Oh, this is so painful. Oh, so painful, bro. <laughs> I feel bad for the girl. As well as him, I feel real bad for the girl. Look at all her friends. Like, she's giggling, she giggling, she giggling. He's here like, ooh. <laughs> See? How was this a good idea? So, so won't you this is so bad. <laughs> Will you be my Valentine? No. no. Oh, it's a Valentine. Oh, okay. I thought this motherfucker was actually gonna get married, married. I started recording because this guy was being sus. Okay. Hey, I was no, just guy trying to thrift. He just looks a bit odd. Excuse me. Uh, my name's Lori. Alright. I just think you're one of the most beautiful girls I've ever met. Oh, thank you. Uh, can I buy one of those things for you? Oh, no, it's okay. I'll be fine. You sure? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, are you engaged with someone? Or uh, yeah. No, I'm not. Bit creepy, bro. I'm not either. I'm only 17, so. Okay. Why would you? Why would you say engaged first? Why would you not just say are you dating anyone? Like engaged is so fucking weird. Like you're looking for a ring or some shit. What the fuck? Uh. Oh. Oh. I no. Uh, about a month or so ago, my knee is kind of, I'll show you, it's kind of banged up. Um, I get bitten by a tick, actually. What the fuck and are you talking about? Uh, You're just waffling yeah. some weird yeah, shit to continue know, yeah. talking to this girl. You know, you, you can't no, tell? I can't tell. Uh, it's the right one. This guy is anyway, so fucking uh, strange. And I, I got a bunch of stuff that I was kind of uh, trying uh, to keep up on for work. But it's kind of falling behind. I'm looking for I'm so help. confused oh, okay. as what the fuck uh, this guy is talking thing, about. It's basically involved getting my stuff out of the garden and processing some things like tomatoes and that kind of stuff. Right, right. Um, I'm getting a phone call. I actually have to go. Is he trying to pay this girl to come to his yard? Fuck, bro! That nigga's just crazy! He's gonna get smacked the shit out of him one punch or some shit. I'll see it now. <laughs> Just bitch slap him. Why are Hispanics using the M word? I don't understand this. It makes no sense. No sense to me. Like, why do Hispanics think that they can use this shit? It makes no sense. Punch him, punch him, deck him, deck him, deck him! Bitch slap him or some shit. He's... As soon as somebody laugh in the middle of a fight, you know they are fucking crazy. Okay? it will be like, ha 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 ha! Before, they'll be mid laugh and before you know it, you're on the ground. People that laugh in fights are fucking crazy. Evil laugh competition. Okay. What the fuck? That is so fucking strange. Uh, 
Okay. You know, gonna lie, that's kind of shit. No offense. <laughs> that guy's been putting some weird shit in his bird bedroom. I can I can just feel it right now. I get Unabomber vibes. That guy wants to be a super villain. And he looks like the evil Donnie from Phineas and Ferb. Dr. Doofenshmirtz, or whatever his fucking name is. <laughs> okay, this guy is the super villain. This guy, full blown weirdo. Right. Like, Coach I hear that laugh, and I'm gone. To come down on the stage and demonstrate to everyone what you're able to do at these clinics. Hello, and thank you, Adam. Holy cow. I mean, I, we'd heard a lot about him during the pandemic, but I'd never stood next to him. My role is to help coach what train, the fuck is develop this? the next generation of NBA talent. I know all the best moves and am untethered by one single dimension. Is this Shaquille O'Neal and they just like fucking 3D modeled him or some shit? What the fuck? I can even make a free throw. Before you leave, anything else you can do that you want to show the audience? I can even be the real Superman. It's Shakira now. Nice hologram though. Guys, comment down below what you want me to react to next. I've been your host, Luca. I love your faces and I'll see you in the next one. Bye my babies, peace.